So I saw a job advertised today. Saw a job today in the newspaper for the post office, and it's the part time. The fuck is this shit you've given me? It's a beer. Julie, Julie, I've been at work all day. I'm tired. So just tell me what the fuck is this shit that you're giving? Well, we didn't have the one that you normally like, so I thought you'd have to change. At what point did I tell you to go out and buy this shit? It's black. You know I like lager, it's a completely different fucking colour. Look, when it's your own money you're spending, you can go and buy whatever the fuck you want. But in the meantime, is it just so difficult to do what you're told? I wonder why I get so mad at you, you thick bitch. Well, I thought... thought what? Hmm? It's the whole point you don't think, do you? I don't know why I'm still with you. You're fucking useless and ugly. Money is tight enough as it is without you wasting all this shit. Well, here's a thought. How about next month? You can go and work, yeah? And I'll sit at home, on my ass all day, doing fuck all, being the most irritable cunt there is when you get home. How's that sound? I'm sorry. If money's tight, I could always get a job at the post office. What? Think you run away with the paper, boy? Fucking don't think so, love. Julie, I need you to come pick me up. Well, it must have been about six or seven years ago. I used to work at a pub until I met Dave. Hmm. So I have noticed a gap in your Julie, employment where are history. You? Could you please explain it? Stop pissing around and come back. Well, since I met Dave. 
he's always been a big believer in that the woman's place is in the home. Come on, let's be serious. He was gonna hire you anyway. Look, just just come home. We'll have a roast and watch a film. But circumstances are a little different, so. Okay, Julie, I think I have everything I need. I'd like to thank for your time. Um, well, we'll be in touch. Okay, David. You've been very lucky that people were around when you collapsed. Next time, you may not be. Will you stop drinking completely if you want to lead a healthy life? You have a small stroke or simply by your lifestyle. You need to make sure you stay off the drink. I try to encourage some exercise. See, the problem with this is that you may come back and worse. Thanks, Julie. All of it, I mean, thanks for putting up with me. I love you, you know that, yeah? Oh, all right, Julie. I heard about Dave's stroke. Is everything okay? Yeah, he's doing a lot better now. He's having to rest a lot and make some changes, but... Well, I'm uh, glad he's doing uh, better. Whenever you and Dave are ready, you just let me and the missus know. We'd love to have you over for dinner one day, yeah? Take care, yeah? Who's that? What do you mean? I was just talking to Damien by the bins. Damien? I see you're on first name terms already with him then. What are you talking about? It's Damien, our neighbour. He has been for the last seven years. You're freaking me out, Dave. Freak! I'll show you the fucking freak is. You're sleeping with him, aren't you, you little slag? Damn <laughs> fucking bitch! mess if it wasn't for you. What's the name of you ignorant bitch?
I just can't believe that he's actually gone. And I can't stop thinking that it was my fault. If only I'd been here, I could have helped. I, could... I know. Thank you.